Wine cabinets sold in June 2003 to a college student named Josef Netsky for $140. But he only kept the cabinet for seven months. Josef lived at the time in a house with five other roommates in Kirksville, Missouri, and every single one of them experienced something odd. The first thing was strange ailments that befell anyone who had the cabinet in their room. All six at some point had the cabinet. These strange ailments were bronchitis, listlessness, insomnia, and severe allergies. Then there was an unexplainable infestation of small bugs. Right at the same time, Yosef would notice the cabinet doors wouldn't remain closed. They would never open on their own when watched, but when no one was in the room. Next, there was unexplained odors that smelled like juniper or ammonia. Same time as the odors, the roommates experienced a string of bad luck, such as their toaster, Xbox, and watches just dying. One roommate broke his finger, and another kept finding dead mice in his car engine. After all these strange incidents, the five roommates decided it was time to move, leaving Yosef alone in the house with the cabinet. At this time, Yosef started a blog about all the weird things that he was experiencing, like items that would be moved without human aid or just outright disappear. Yosef began to see strange, blurry figures out of the corner of his vision. The lights would turn on and off by themselves, the light bulbs themselves kept burning out, and the unexplained juniper and ammonia smells continued. By the time he decided to put the cabinet on eBay, he went from being an outgoing good student with a full head of hair to a reclusive student who was on academic probation with half of his hair gone. Yosef went to a doctor about his hair loss, and the doctor ran tests, but everything came back normal. So Yosef believed his hair loss was due to stress. In fact, he didn't attribute any of the weird occurrences to something paranormal. At this time, the director of the Museum of Osteopathic Medicine, Jason Haxton, had heard about the cabinet. He either found out about the cabinet from one of the roommates or from Yosef's blog. Jason offered to outright buy the cabinet, but Yosef refused and told him to place a bid like everyone else. So he did, and in January 2004, he won the auction. He paid $280 for the wine cabinet. That's double what Yosef had paid. Jason originally wanted to gift the cabinet to a magician friend of his, but once the friend found out about the cabinet's past, he refused the gift. So Jason decided to keep the cabinet. He had come to think of it as a historical puzzle, but like those before him, he began to experience strange things. He had bizarre health problems right after he took the cabinet out of the box it had been shipped in. At first, he felt a stabbing pain in his gut. The next morning, after having a very restless night, he found his eyes were bloodshot. Jason became even more ill over the next few weeks. He had hives, rashes, welts from head to toe, constant coughing, nasal problems, fatigue, a metallic taste in his mouth, and most scary of all, he would cough up blood. He thought there might be a substance on the cabinet that made him sick, so he had the cabinet tested. But they all came back negative. Like Kevin before, Jason began to smell cat urine or jasmine around the cabinet in his house. Ross Haxton, Jason's son, witnessed a black flame move across the room and disappear into a wall. After these strange events, Jason put the wine cabinet in the basement of his vacant property next door. There he left the cabinet for five months. When he went back into the basement, he found that the cubby hole containing the cabinet was surrounded by hundreds of poisonous centipedes. This was really, really strange considering it was the middle of winter. The centipedes started to disperse as soon as he entered the basement, and a few seconds later, they were completely gone. Jason then noticed that every single spider in the basement was dead in its web and completely covered in some strange white substance. 
The substance also covered the walls of the basement. He claims that as soon as he removed the cabinet from the basement, the substance completely disappeared. Do not forget to leave a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. And if you already have, thank you very much.